Preston might have found out that we've been hiding inside of his base, which means I had to make a quick exit and build a new tiny emerald mansion outside to keep an eye on him. Guys, I have not seen Preston at all, and also, no new supplies have been dropped off, so we have got to go back and get inside his journal and see if we can find out what in the world is going on here. Good thing inside my tiny furnace, I have access to his chest right here. Let's open that up and grab his journal and see if there is any new notes at all inside. This is all the old stuff. This is where Preston noticed that the chest wasn't working properly. So, and it looks like, yeah, he got someone, some sort of internet specialist to come out and take a look. And then again, he tried to have the, uh, tried to reset it. It didn't work. And this is new. This is new right here, guys. It's, <laughs> the specialist could not fix the issue. He rescheduled a second appointment for next week. Okay, I kind of feel bad because he's probably paying for the specialist. It probably isn't exactly cheap, but uh, sorry, Preston. Then and he said again, this was last month, end of last month, he said another appointment failed. Well, of course, because this is not an internet issue. Oh, and then he says meeting with Barney to see if he has the same issue. I wonder what Barney did. Oh, this is not good. Barney had the same problem with the chest. He thinks something else is going on. We're going to do some investigating. This was like the last day of last month. Oh, and this is literally yesterday. Barney and I have reason to believe that Bahri might be up to something. Oh gosh. Okay, guys, my plan might not be exactly going according to plan. I hate to do this, but I will most likely have to abandon my base here and move. Barney agrees. Oh boy, okay, this isn't good, this isn't good. Let's put the journal back in case he brings it with him. What do I do, what do I do? Preston is definitely on to me and this must be why there's no new supplies because he must have told Barney, don't drop anything else off until we figure out what's going on. And also, that means Preston is definitely leaving the base as soon as possible, which means we've gotta get out as well, guys. Let's exit here break out through this wall here. We've got to figure out what to do before Preston gets away from us, and we've got to keep track of him to figure out where he's headed. This tunnel is way too long for moments like this. Way too long for moments like this. All right, guys, we are at the outside. Of course, there is the top of Preston's base initially, and that's where Barney has been going to drop items off to Preston. We need to find a spot where we'd be able- Oh, there is creeps right there. This is incredibly dangerous being this tiny with massive creeps right behind me. I've got to find a point that we can go where we can keep an eye on if Preston moves or not. And I'm thinking the top of this hill right here would be a great vantage point for us. Let's make our way over. Good thing I get to jump super high when I'm really tiny like this. Making our way to the top of the hill here. I don't know if this is the best vantage point actually on second thought, guys. We can see this side, but we may want to see the direction he would run is probably away from anything suspicious. And all of my stuff is down here to the right. Tiny TNT, as well as my secret diamond fortress mansion is over there on the right hand side. We might want to go over to that spot over over there and this is probably perfect we can see his diamond base is on the other side of this tree over there in the very far distance you can see my builds but this way we get to see anything from the front side over here as well as if he escapes out the back we can see that and then right behind me we can see this whole piece of land behind us to keep track of him the question is what are we going to build that's going to blend in with the grass up here and I think I have just the right idea a block of emerald will be hard to notice at first glance next to the green and with the green leaves in the background on the trees. Switch this to emerald. We want a box and we want it to be hollow. And of course we have to have a placement of one next to it to be able to judge off of and build this all the way to the edge here. And now we have the entrance to our tiny emerald base. But honestly, I don't think one is going to be enough. So let's place down another one right next door and we can go inside and hollow this whole section out to make this double wide. And here we'll be able to build a lookout point underneath. Break through the grass here as well. And this is perfect. Jumping down from the emerald base, we can go over to the right side and we have a lookout here to be able to see Preston's base over there. And we have a view out the back side and out the front side. I think the main things that we need right now, guys, is not a permanent base for us to stay in, but we just have to build a lookout spot to keep track of wherever Preston is, which means, of course, we gotta be comfortable, but at the same time, we need viewpoints all around this thing. So on top of this, this here we need to be able to see out the left side here which I think we can do if we just
just dig straight out like this, we'll be able to make another viewpoint out this side. And there we can see the overlap at the front there and then all around to the left side here on this getaway stretch over on the left-hand side. The only spot that's left right now is all the way around on our right-hand side over here, but we have quite a bit of land that needs to be dug out in order to see this direction. So I say, let's clear this out because this will be fine if this is all flat. And with that cleared out, now we just have to dig this section out as well. And that is going to open up a perfect spy tower essentially for us to keep tabs on Preston if he tries to escape at any moment. And one more view hole there. Excellent. We've got all of our bases covered now. We can see right. We can see straight ahead. And we can see off to the left-hand side. Preston is not going anywhere without us being able to see him first on the move. Unfortunately, guys, we were in such a rush on the way out that I really only brought this diamond sword with me. And all of our other supplies are still inside Preston's base as well as in my getaway chest before my diamond mansion so we're gonna have to go and grab those supplies at some point but for now i want to make sure we're fully secured and this tool is really unique in that we don't actually have to use an entire block space so i can build this section of the emerald mansion out on that side as well as build this section of the emerald mansion out on this side and then actually going inside we can connect those so it's not an entire another block room but it does give us additional space inside here for planning and execution Open that one up as well. And actually what would be really cool is if we build this around a little bit more on these sides. So this way, whenever we spot Preston and we make our exit to follow him, he won't immediately be able to see us from the right-hand side over here or the left-hand side. And then inside, additionally, I don't truly know how long we're gonna be hanging out here. So it makes sense for us to at least be a little bit comfortable. And this will give us quite a bit more room to be able to spend time in. So our base can curve around to the side over here and on this side. And actually, I'm getting a little confused running by the grass here just because the emerald does look so similar of course you can tell the difference if you look closely but at first glance it's almost like your eyes just glance right past it first things first though guys we could be spending wait a second i feel really bad for doing this but we're going to need some food guys all right close your eyes close your eyes come here come here pig get over here, come here. now that the gory details are done we don't want to use emerald we need to build a bed for sleeping and let's actually put it in the right side here this looks a little bit more appealing switch to our strong sturdy bed frame we could go with stone that'll be sturdy enough and it has been super split in the comment section whether you guys like a purple bed or a blue bed and so let me know definitively vote one for purple two for blue and we'll just have a bunch of numbers in the comments and people Will be confused about what's going on if they're not following but for now let's change it up this is the victory bed right here this is where we truly catch preston on his getaway which means i say we go with a block of gold guys for the bed that looks juicy and for the pillow we can't use gold i know we gotta go with something a little bit softer let's go with the lime wool to match the green background a bit oh that is good right there that is real real good right there guys downstairs at our lookout here we need some chairs so that we can sit if we're gonna be keeping eyes on for a while we gotta be comfortable while we're doing it so let's use some sweet maha they don't have mahogany there's no mahogany guys we'll go with the birch wood that seems nice. And let's make a bench on this side because it's actually two windows we need to keep track of. So we'll go for a little bench here. And the seat of the bench is gonna be that light blue wool, real comfy. That looks so cozy. Actually, I kind of want to just sit in it and take a nap right now. And for this lookout point here, we just need one seat, honestly, nothing more. And place the wool down there too. So we can sit here and watch Preston if he escapes out that side. And we got the longer bench over here here to keep track of both of these windows i do however want to add because it could look confusing from the outside looking in this should be very dark inside it should be all brown if you're looking directly through this green should not be here which means we've got to go to our little paint paintbrush and switch this over to a brown color and the question is how brown do we make it like this brown let's see what happens oh that's actually perfect and then on this side as well guys 
and I think our disguise, our hideout underneath is almost completely set as far as this section of the Emerald Base goes. Oh, that is perfect. All right, I think we've covered up the bottom layer of each, so it doesn't look like the green's coming down too far, and we should be good there. Let's head back up. We're gonna need to get ourselves a chest set up, but let's hide it somewhere. We can hide it right here behind the tree. Place it there, and that looks perfect. You cannot see this chest at all, of course, from the outside here. Now comes the dangerous section. I've got to go get the supplies that I stashed because I left them behind. The first box that I have is over there behind that birch tree. I'll make a jump into the water from here. Oh, I almost... Oh, okay. Close call. Close call. Close call. And just as we're getting closer, just peek this corner. I don't see any name tags. Last time I saw Barney up on the balcony up there. I don't see him in there right now. All right, making our way around over here behind the tree and we are inside. Okay, here we go. Oh, I just have a diamond sword there and we've got 64 stakes though. That should be enough and we'll grab this flint and steel because we'll probably want that as well. This gives us two diamond swords, which is pretty good as well as plenty of food, which means I didn't really need to take out the pig. I really did not need to take out the pig. It also is really hard to tell at first glance our emerald base up there. Very, very, very good spot, I think, guys. Nice work. Make our way back around hiding behind the tree as well. This is the most dangerous spot passing in front of their doorway there. But I still don't see anyone there. And this is definitely not the easiest mountain to climb. So no reason anybody would be getting to the top of this just casually. They would have to be determined to climb it and build up to it, which Preston on a getaway is not going to be thinking about that. He is going to be thinking about getting to safety. Me, on the other hand, can take these beautiful dirt stairs, the tiny stairs that I just built, and go right up to the chest here. Drop our food off and drop one sword. We'll keep one sword on hand just in case. And this is good, guys. Woo! All right, we need to get a little kitchen built out. Finally, we can take a breather. I feel like we're in a good position right now. So we can finally relax just a little bit, switch it up and change to our kitchen. Which kind of countertops do we want? The polished diorite looks exactly like marble. This is so nice. Oh yeah, it looks like a marble countertop. Let's make this whole side a marble countertop here. And then along the side here as well, like starting right here, let's make this into a wraparound countertop. Perfect. Switch to the stovetop here with the obsidian should work out well. Oh, yep. That works really nice, guys. One long stovetop on that side. I don't think we need a TV or anything because most of our time is going to be spent keeping an eye on Preston, not distracting ourselves with sports or entertainment. But I absolutely do need a refrigerator in case I make a run to the store. I want to make sure that we can store it in a cold ice box, which this is hollow enough for groceries on the inside all we need is a handle for the door on the outside which for that we could go with a wooden handle like spruce wood would work out nice just place that right there and that is our ice box refrigerator it looks kind of massive all right but i can get hungry sometimes and i think with that we have the essentials guys let's not take a nap right now that note was just made yesterday which means preston could be prepared to move right now and moving at any moment, which means the long wait for Preston begins. Or it could be a very short wait depending. So let's get out this sword and prepare ourselves.